In this video, we're going to focus on multiplication, the different ways of multiplying a number. So let's start with this example. What is 27 times 38? Well, let's start with the old school method. So we can set it up like this. And the first thing we need to do is we need to multiply 8 by 7. So what is 8 times 7? 8 times 7 is 56. So we need to write the 6 and carry over the 5. Next, we need to multiply 3 times 7. 3 times 7 is 21, and then you have to add the 5, which gives you 26. Now, the next thing you need to do is add a 0 to go to the next level. And then we need to multiply 2 times 8. 2 times 8 is 16, but we're going to write the 6, carry over the 1. And then it's 2 times 3, which is 6, plus 1, so that becomes 7. So at this point, we need to add. So first, let's add 0 and 6, which is 6. And then we'll add 6 plus 6, which is 12. So we'll write 2, carry over the 1. And then we have 1 plus 2, which is 3. 3 plus 7 is 10. And so the answer is 1,026. So that's one way in which you can multiply two numbers. Another way in which you can do it is by using the distributive property. For instance, 27, you can write 27 as 20 plus 7. And 38 is 30 plus 8. So now we need to do something called FOIL. So we need to multiply 20 by 30. Now 2 times 3 is 6. And so we have two zeros that we need to add. So 20 times 30 is 600. And then we need to multiply 20 times 8. Now 2 times 8 is 16. So 20 times 8 is 160. We just got to add one zero. Now let's multiply 7 by 30. So what is 7 times 30? 7 times 3 is 21. So 7 times 30 is 210. And then 7 times 8 is 56. So now we need to add these four numbers. So 600 plus 160 plus 210 plus 56. And so in the first column, we have three zeros plus a six, which is going to give us six. And now for the second column, we have six plus one, which is seven. Seven plus five, that's 12. So let's write the two, carry over the one. So one plus six is seven. Seven plus one is eight. And then eight plus two is 10. So as you can see, we get the same result of 1,026. And so that's how you can multiply using the distributive property. Another way in which we can multiply two numbers is something called the area model multiplication. And so 27 is a two-digit number, and 38 is a two-digit number. So what we need to do is we need to draw a table with two columns and two rows. Now 27, we can write it as the sum of 20 plus 7. And 38 is 30 plus 8. And then you multiply. So this has the same effect as the distributive property, but it's just another way to do multiplication. So if we multiply 20 by 30, we know, based on the last example, it's 600. 2 times 3 is 6, and then you carry over the two zeros. And then 7 times 30, that's 210. 20 times 8, that's 160. And then 7 times 8 is 56. And then after that, you sum up all the four numbers that are in this uh, big box. So we know that 600 plus 210 plus 160 plus 56, that's going to give us 1,026. So that's how you can multiply two numbers using the area model multiplication method. Now the next method is something called lattice multiplication. Perhaps you've heard of it, perhaps you didn't, I don't know, but... I thought it was interesting when the first time I saw it. I don't know who came up with these methods, but 
here's what you need to do. So once again, we have a two-digit number multiplying by another two-digit number. So we're going to have basically a similar setup, two rows, two columns. But this time, it's going to be a little different. Instead of writing 20 plus 7, we're just going to write 2 and 7, and on this side, 3 and 8. So the second number, put it on the right side instead of the left side. Now, what you need to do is you need to draw these diagonal lines. And then we're going to multiply 2 times 3. Now, 2 times 3 is 6, but the way you enter it, you write it as 0, 6. And then 7 times 3 is 21, so we could just write that as 2, 1. 7 times 8 is 56. And finally, 2 times 8 is 16. Now, what you need to do is you need to start in this region. So what we're going to do is we're going to add up the numbers that are confined by the blue diagonal lines. Here, all we have is a 6, so we're just going to write 6. And then here we have a 1 plus a 5, which is 6, plus 6, that's 12. And so you don't write 12, but what you're going to do is you're going to write the 2 and then carry over the 1. So you have 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 6 is 9, 9 plus 1 is 10. So don't write 10, but write 0 and then carry over the 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. And then you can see your answer if you read it in this order. So you have 1, 0, 2, 6, or 1,026. And so that's how you can multiply two numbers using lattice multiplication. I have no idea who came up with this method. All I know is that it works. Now, let's move on to another example. So this time, we're going to multiply a three-digit number by a two-digit number. And so let's use three methods, the old school method, box multiplication, and lattice multiplication. So first, we're going to multiply 6 times 4. 6 times 4 is 24, and then carry over the 2. Next is 4 times 4, which is 16, plus 2, so that's 18. So we're going to write 8 carry over the 1. And then we have 4 times 3, which is 12, plus 1, that's 13. So next, we need to add a 0. And let's get rid of those two numbers. And now we have 7 times 6, which is 42. Let's write the 2, carry over the 4. And then 7 times 4 is 28, plus 4. So that's 32. So let's write the 2, carry the 3. And then 3 times 7 is 21, plus 3, so that's 24. We have 4 plus 0, which is 4. And then 8 plus 2, that's 10. Let's write the 0, carry the 1. 1 plus 3 plus 2 is 6. 1 plus 4 is 5. And then drop down to 2. So the answer is 25,000. 604. Now let's confirm this answer starting with box multiplication. So we have a three digit number by a two digit number. So let's make a table with three columns and two rows. And you could also do it the other way. You can make it have three rows and two columns. Now, 346, that's going to be 300 plus 40 plus 6. 74 is 70 plus 4. So now let's multiply. So 300 times 70. 3 times 7 is 21. And then we need to add three zeros because we have two here and one here. Next, we have 70 times 40. 7 times 4 is 28. And then we need to add two zeros. And then 70 times 6, 7 times 6 is 42, and we need to add 1 0. Then 4 times 300, 4 times 3 is 12, and then add two zeros. And then 4 times 40, 4 times 4 is 16, add 1 0, and then 4 times 6 is 24. So now let's add up the six numbers in the box. 
So we have 21,000, 2,800, 1,200, 420, 160, and 24. So the first column adds up to 4. And then 2 plus 6 plus 2, that's 10. So let's write the 0, carry over the 1. And then it's 8 plus 2, which is 10, plus 1, that's 11, plus 4, that's 15, plus 1, that's 16. So let's write the 6, carry over the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 2, that's 4, plus 1, that's 5. And finally, let's bring down the 2. And so as you can see, we get the same answer of 25,604. So now let's confirm the answer using the last technique, lattice multiplication. And so we're still going to need three rows, I mean two rows and three columns. But this time we don't have to write 300 plus 40 plus 6. We could use small numbers. Three, four and six. And on the right side, instead of 70 plus four, it's just seven and four. Now let's draw the diagonal lines. So three times seven is 21. Four times seven is 28. Six times seven is 42. And then 6 times 4, that's 24. 4 times 4, 16. And finally, 3 times 4, which is 12. So now let's write the numbers that we have. So we have a 4. Don't forget to start in this region. And then we have 2 plus 2 plus 6. So that's 10. Let's write the 0, carry over the 1. 1 plus 4 is 5. 5 plus 8 is 13. 13 plus 1 is 14. 14 plus 2 is 16. So let's write the 6, carry over the 1. 2 and 1 is 3. And then plus another 1, that's 4. Plus a 1, that's 5. And then here we just have a 2, so let's write 2. And you can see the answer, 25604. 25,604. And so that's lattice multiplication. So now you have a lot of different ways in which you can multiply two numbers. Thanks for watching.